All right, so let's do an ls to take a look at our files again. We will ls into the assembly directory. So I'll say ls assembly to take a look at my file. So this is going to be my input file. So I'm going to run quest and supply it with this file because I'm going to evaluate this assembly. All right, so to run quest, if you install using Mamba, then it has to be this way, quests, and then you supply it with the options, including your input file. There are other ways that can be used to install quests, and those ones require that when running quests, you say quests.py. So you need to know how you install it, and you can use the appropriate command. All right, so I installed using Mamba, so I'll use the first approach I indicated. All right, so to evaluate a genome assembly such as this with quests, you see quests. And then I will indicate my output directory. So I'll say dash O and I'll say QC underscore assembly. So this will be my output directory. So the, the output directory here will contain the output files. I'm also going to indicate the number of threads. I'll say dash dash threads. I'll say four. Now the threads, you can use more than four if your PC supports it. So take notes. Now I'm going to indicate the input file, which is the assembly. So that's this one here. So I'll say assembly slash assembly. dot first a so this is my assembly file all right now with quest it's possible to also specify a reference genome you know? so when you do that you also get some mapping statistics and it's also possible to specify more than one genome assembly so you can do that also so there is a command so with this command if you have your own data you can simply replace this one here with your data and then you'll be fine all right so let's proceed. So if you also have a challenge with random quests, you can always let me know and then we can have a session together. All right, so let's execute this command. So once we do that, quest will perform the analysis and give us the outputs. All right, so everything has been done for us. Now let's take a look at the files. So let's do an ls and we are going to find a directory called qc underscore assembly. So let's ls into it. We are going to find files here, a lot of files. Let's say a couple of files. So with Quas, it gives us reports in different file formats. So we have an HTML, which is here. We also have a PDF. We also have text files with information. So it depends on what you want, but everything has been summarized and placed in the HTML and then the PDF. And also have this one here. 